Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can work with Bitwarden to achieve uh, maximum performance or maximum security for you and your team. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at bitwarden.com or log in to our existing account. The process is pretty simple. You have to, uh, you have to address the first master password, which is basically when you go to my account, master password should be really, really strong and you won't be able to retrieve it. So once we're in here in the top right corner, we have our account so we can go to my account. Also in settings, you have all your informations, uh, master password, new master password, algorithms, and then there's Epic key if you want to make some integration or uh, to authenticate uh, in the Bit, uh, Bitwarden CLI. Next, in options, uh, we have a vault timeout that we can basically set to from one minute to four hours or on browser refresh, which means basically when you leave your com computer for, in my case, for 15 minutes, uh, it will automatically log you off from Bitwarden and you'll get asked to to basically write down master password yet again. All timeout action is lock or log out. It's completely up to you. Language is default, so it's English, but as you can see, there's a couple of options, even Czech language, Espanol, uh, even my language, which is Slovenchina. Uh, disable website icon, enable gravitars, enable full width layout. Organizations, we don't have uh, any organization yet but you can make a new one very easily. Choose your plan, families, teams, enterprise, but also you'll get charged for, for example, three, uh, $3 a month for six users. Uh, there's a there go uh, premium, those are billing. A very, uh, very good thing is to step login with, uh, for example, authenticator app, YubiKey, Duo, Fido, or email. Domain rules and emergency access but we want to go back to my world in my world uh, you can basically add the passwords so let's go and click on add item what type of item is that let's go with login name uh, let's go with zapier this app i'm um, uh, using for making my integrations in a folder we have no folder yet but we can make one later username like this wait a second like this because you are logging in with your email password authenticator key if it's uh, if it's needed uri default match uh, detection custom fields and so on also we can do it like this and then master password reprompt we don't have to we don't need it at the moment and save Yet again, we have zapier.com. So next thing, we want to go to Bitwarden. And now uh, we need to download an extension. So we go to chrome.google.com and write down Bitwarden. And as you can see, we have Bitwarden free password. And we just want to click on add to Chrome. Add extension. And straight away, in the top corner of our screen, we have Bitwarden. And now we have to log in to our Bitwarden account. 
So with our email address, master password yeah, for, let's go like this. Login. And we have our Bitwarden account here. My vault. In the login, as you can see, we have the first one, the Zapier.com. So we want to go to the Zapier itself. We are not logged in yet, so we are about to log in. Like that. And we want to go to the top corner, to the Bitwarden. Click. And it's already there. Click on that and copy. Everything's copied, password is copied, and we are, we are logged in. The same way it works, for example, for Facebook, for Automate, for anything. Just remember, you just, copy, you just click on Bit1, Bitwarden uh, extension, logins, and now you can copy password or copy username or launch the site and automatically log in. We are here, we can uh, go with favorites. Favorite is the only one that we have, for example. You can uh, still manage like copy username, copy password from Zapier in your vault or launch it or attachments or clone it, even share it. You can share it in uh, organization so we can create our organization M, M stone but as I uh, said before billing email let's go with submit but I need to fill in the, the email submit my organization is ready to go and as you can see in the vault, we can add the item. So we already add, uh, we already have the, the Zapier one, but we have to start to do it again. But let's go into my vault. We have Zapier, share or to organization M stone as a default collection, save. And we uh, have our organization all set up. We can uh, go to trash, but there's no uh, no passwords in our trash. And there is logins, cards. We can add the card, for example, name of the card. Let's go MasterCard. And we can always come back to it later. So it's MasterCard, expiration, blah, blah, blah. Security code, number, card holder name. As you can see, those are mine, but Let's not do that, uh, but it's very easy. Now you can pick either identity, first name, middle name, last name, basically everything you need for filling out the forms when you're logging into some website or into, uh, into our workspace and secure note. If you want to secure some notes, you just uh, put them there and they'll be protected by your master passwords. No folders, we can create a folder, name mstone, for example, save it. And now we can either save it, cancel, or we can delete it. In all items, you can see the collections, it's in the default collection. Add item, who owns this item? Well. There's only me in this site. But as you can see, it's very easy to work around Bitwarden. It's a bit easier and more simpler than, uh, than the other ones, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. For example, one password is way more complicated, but uh, this one is really easy to use. So you have your organization, for example, here, and as you can see, everyone 
as a member of this organization can see your Zapier account and Zapier uh, password so they can log into and start doing integrations. So that's about it. It's actually very easy. You can get an app into your mobile phone, into your uh, PC. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.